If you are going to do Facebook Live, I highly suggest that you get stabilization. There's another video explaining what stabilization is. You can do it really cost effectively, especially if you're going to do it a lot. And I would also say when you're doing Facebook Live, one of the things that drives me crazy is the videos start off like this. Oh, oh hi, oh hi, hi, sorry, yeah, yeah there's just laundry behind me and I'm just going to make a bunch of excuses and, and, then, and then I'm finally going to tell you what I'm here to talk about. Don't do that. Wait, wait for you to be professional and then start talking to the camera. My camera guy's laughing because he's seen it all the time and chances are you've seen it all the time too. If you're going to do Facebook Live, don't ramble. Have a list of things that you want to talk about. Have them on a piece of Bristol board behind the camera so you can easily look. Have a timer. Do it in your kitchen so that you can see the microwave countdown so you know how long you've talked about each topic. A five minute video is too long. You need to be shorter than that. You need to be more concise. You need to be to the point. And you just need to make sure that you stay on topic because rambling on Facebook Live will just lead to no one watching your stuff. So be prepared, be professional, and practice until you're ready to go.